Hey guys, we're out in the garage today and I thought we'd take a little minute and talk about collet indexers. We got a couple to look at. We'll kind of go through the features real quick. Um, this is kind of your bargain basement deal. These things are eh, 50, 100 bucks in that range. Uh, they're really intended for uh, grinders uh, for the most part, service grinders, but you can do light milling on them as long as you're, you know, kind of go easy with them. Uh, as you can see, there's some of these locking holes here, and we have 10 degree increments. But here's your bonus. Got this other scale where you have degree increments. So these things will go 360 degrees in one degree increments. Spindle lock here, 5C collet. Uh, you can bolt them to the table, clamp them in the vise, whatever you want to do. Side fixture, however. Um, budget way, lots of flexibility. Not super, not super fast, but really gets you right in the ballpark. The next step up is this little Hardings guy. And this one was modified when I got it. Somebody added this little extra locking feature here. Uh, if I'm going to do anything that's a little heavier, uh, interrupted cut or something like that, I'll end up locking that spindle down with that. But this guy, you know, it's quick index. Um, <sighs> You can see it's calibrated there. Of course, I don't have a collet in it, so it's not turning easy, and I'm using my left hand. <laughs> oh, there we go. So this guy is 15 degree increments, and of course the you know 90s and the 60s are on here. Or, I'm sorry, did I say 60? I meant 120. But you can see that is on there with a the three. So and then you have your 15. Somebody added a little extra scale marks there. I never figured out exactly what those are. Probably 10 or something, but. Those don't really lock in per the machine. You have to use the auxiliary lock. But that is, again, that's an add-on thing. That's not normally there. But um, very nice. I got this secondhand at an industrial place. Um, pretty cheap. And the, these are handy. And what I like about them is these are machined on the side. So they'll pop in your vise and they'll be square. And I even got a little magic marker mark so I know how much to crank it out to just to make it faster. So then we move on to the Cadillac. This bad boy, this is, I would say, probably Harding's for, you know, the manual, the manual world, which I'm in. They're HV, so HV is horizontal, vertical, so you can bolt it on either, either edge here and get your 90 degrees. But these guys have the lever to close it. There's a thread here you could bolt on a chuck if you wanted to i mean it's 5c but if you want to have a little truck and do odd shape stuff you got a threaded end i mean that is high-end stuff there's a ratchet here that i don't have but uh and i also you can see here i whoops i, I bent up a wrench because there's always next to your vice or something's in the way and this lets you get in here and tighten up the nuts without having to weasel too much with a regular wrench. So that was worth the effort and craptastic wrench, who cares, right? But these guys, the other thing that's neat about these, other than being really fast, the index, you got the same kind of locking deal here. You get a lever and they're 15 degree increments on the wheel. But if you peek in there, you see a bunch of set screws. So if you're doing a few parts in a row and you want to make it kind of idiot proof, you can block out these selections you crank that set screw in and this will not find that notch so if it's you know a really critical part or you're doing a lot of them and you want to make it idiot proof you take the time you crank those set screws in and away you go this thing i was lucky i combed ebay forever to find one wasn't beat to heck and i finally found one that was decent you know you buy them on ebay you kind of take your chance sometimes but it turned out to be a home run i didn't pay an awful lot for it um, the prices on these things vary a lot. New, these things were crazy expensive. Uh, they're super precise, but nowadays in the world of CNC, these manual stuff, you know, the demand for these is really kind of down there. So if you do look on eBay, you can score a deal on one. If you're so inclined, I really recommend you do that. They're awesome. You will absolutely love it. I love mine. I hope that gives you a little bit of an overview, kind of like the three tiers here. And uh, decide what you need and life short, go get you one.